Hello my friends. I'm posting a couple more videos this week. Jehovah Witnesses New Bible. I have made different videos about of this Bible. The New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. My understanding of this Bible now, it is mandatory to use this Bible in all the Kingdom Halls. You are not allowed to use the one I used to have, or still have, is the black cover. You have to use this one. The reason why, because they have changed bunch of words in the scriptures in this Bible so if someone asks you to look up a scripture and you have the older, other Bible it probably won't read the same so that would be an embarrassment why you reading the scripture and it's not reading the same in the new Bible. I mean, I really believe when I was a witness, I thought they had the truth. The things they talked about showed my parents and us we really believed it was the truth. In some of my other videos, my parents left the organization. They got this fellowship. But they still believe it's the truth. They don't have no clue of the new Bible. They have no clue of the past teachings, the past publications, that what I found that the government body has written in the past. And at that time, it was the truth. And now the truth is called old light. The reason I, we all try to get people to wake up to realize you don't keep changing Bibles every time when you feel like it. So this Bible is supposed to be more superior than the one I had or the one I had was more superior than the one they made before that. The, all the Bibles were supposed to read the same. If you watch my other video, you would notice that um, they inserted Jehovah's name in this Bible six more times. Now, why would you insert a name if the name was already was in the old Bible? six more times. It wouldn't make no sense unless they're taking something away from an area that actually was talking about his son. So I had an interesting person watch at least I was hoping they watched my video and they left a comment. This is what I got in my email. A new comment on your video. Tear Jehovah Witnesses New Bible apart. Okay, it don't mean I was going to take the Bible and rip it apart and throw it in a garbage can. That would be impossible for me to do. And that would be stupid on my part. And I will explain that a minute. And you'll see why I can't give the Bible back. And why I would not destroy it. Well, this is why she left me. This her avatar. Give it back to a witness. At least we respect you all. Please respect us. But the problem with this.
give it back to a witness. Okay, apparently she was not watching none of my videos. All she saw the part was tear Jehovah Witnesses new Bible apart. That's all she saw. At least we respect you all, please. Okay, if she respected us, she would be watching our videos. And, if, and please respect us. How can we respect my friend? This video is for you. I respect you as a person. I respect you. You're in a cult. I respect you that you're in a false religion. Because I know I was there. I lived it. And I had so many doubts. So I could have been attending the meetings from 1970 all the way to 2012. I could attend all the meetings, but there were so many doubts, so many things made no sense. Especially when I took the magazine that had the older people and combined their age from 1914, and I was determined how old would I be before the new sister come. I did this because I was curious how close I would have to wait for the new system to about my age to their age. And guess what? They all died out and I'm I am still here. I'm fifty years fifty two years old and I am still here just like y'all are. And you tell me to respect you or respect us. I can't respect the organization. I can't respect the governed body. Because you did not watch none of my videos. You didn't watch other people videos. So how can you say at least we respect you? No. If you respected us for all the research we have done to get others out of this false religion, this false doctrine, this cult religion, you would be leaving me this comment and telling us to give you your Bible, Bible back. This Bible is a curse. Because I went through it, I found so many mistakes. Other people went through it, found mistakes. Even compared to the Greek scriptures, compared to your other Bible, there was too many stuff they change. You don't change God's word around to see what it is, my friend. The reason why they've made this Bible truthfully is because they need more control. They don't want you to go back using your old Bible. They don't want to go want you to go back using the Greek scriptures because that was contradict that book was made so perfect that they used one side the Greek scriptures the other side the way they twisted scriptures around I even found stuff in that Bible that was not on the other side of the Greek scriptures and they had almost two paragraphs on one side that was not in the Greek scriptures and that was the revelation. I even told my friend, and I believe at that time we still had the truth, but I could not figure out why there was more two sentences added when it was not in the Greek scriptures. That should have woke me up. But since you have the knowledge what I didn't have to get on the internet and look at past states literature or really the true Christians that left a false religion cult, you 
All you care about is your precious cult Bible, just like the Mormons, the cult Bible, the Mormons' cult Bible, written by men, not from the Hebrew Scriptures, not from the Greek Scriptures. Yeah, you could say, yeah, our Bible is written for the Greek Scriptures and Hebrew Scriptures, but I'm sorry, but... When you go in there and start adding and deleting words, that Bible is no longer a Bible. It's part of cult religion to keep you in in that false doctrine. Now, this is a picture of my iPad. You probably wonder why I got the picture of my iPad. Well, I'm going to show you the reason why. This here is a PDF that I downloaded on my iPad. Yes, on my iPad. So the thing is, my friend, I can't give you your Bible back to any witness. One, they won't talk to me. Two, I probably am branded as an apostate. Which I don't know because no elders have the guts even coming out here to even tell me if I was this fellowship or just all of a sudden, boom, I'm apostate. Um, two, I'm not giving my iPad away to a witness or anyone because I spent over $700 for this iPad. The reason why I had 64 gig hard drive in this iPad so I can look at so much information and two I'm not going to delete it the reason why because I may want to go back in here I might be able to make more videos later on to show more people that there's more lies in different areas because originally when I bought my iPad I downloaded the watchtowers I downloaded the Bible I downloaded stuff because I was in, went back to the witnesses, and I was going to use all this stuff. So when I have time at work, I can read the Bible. I can read the watchtowers and all that. Till I finally did what I was supposed to do. Confront the elders on something that was shown to me. And then I knew something was wrong with this religion. And that's when I went on the internet. I type in the word S Jehovah Witnesses, and that's when I found the truth that I was living a lie. So you want me to delete this Bible? No, I'm not going to. Am I going to give my iPad away? No, because it's not the Bible itself. It's a PDF. So I'm not giving away something I spent a lot more money than what your crummy Bible that you got for free. So, all I can say is, this Bible is it's rewritten for one thing. It's to keep you in a cult. That's the reason you got this new Bible, to keep you in a cult. If you compare this to a regular Bible, you'll find out it's not the truth. Thank you, and... You spend a lot of money on a iPad, telephones, computers. You're not going to give it away or give it to back to a Jehovah Witness when they can't tell if they watch your other videos. They could tell that this is a PDF Bible. It's not the original Bible. Thank you and have a nice day.